Hello everyone, I'm John. I'm in my workroom today, so the lighting isn't as good as usual. But this video is going to be a little bit different anyway, so that should be okay. I'm still going to have a video out Saturday. So anyway, YouTube user E46M3Fanatic <clears throat> mentioned that it's possible that my uh, round is not steel core, as I said, but that it had a bimetal jacket. And I thought this is pretty interesting, so I pulled it apart. This is the round that we were talking about, the Bulgarian 8mm. So I pulled it apart, and then uh, I found it was inside to be interesting, so I pulled apart a few more. So let's start by talking about the PPU. Here's a quarter, just for size. This is what the PPU bullet looks like. And so I cut it open with my Dremel. And this is solely lead core and a full copper jacket. You can see it's full copper. You can see the, the lining right there is, if we let it focus. But the lining is the same color as the rest of the jacket on the inside and on the outside. And then this is what the bullet looks like. It's just lead. <clears throat> None of these components are magnetic. So let's talk about the Bulgarian one next, since that's the one that I started this with. This is the steel core. Now you'll hear a lot of people say that automatically that steel core ammo is armor piercing. And this is simply not true. Some countries, soft steel is you know, more e like easier to find than lead. So they do that with soft steel instead. So if you see, that's magnetic. Now this ammo also has a bimetal jacket. Let me put the bullet back down. This ammo also has a bimetal jacket. <clears throat> now, if I can get it to show up right, you can see that the inside of it right there on the edge is silver because it's uh, washed, copper washed uh, of another metal that is magnetic. So that is why that is magnetic. So I'll set that back down. <clears throat> so it had this steel core, but then there was also lead on the outside of that. The lead is non-magnetic. <clears throat> All right, so I also pulled apart a Romanian round, and that was almost the exact same construction as the Bulgarian round in this way. Steel core, lead around that, and then a bimetal jacket. So then finally, I wanted to show you one of the Chinese rounds. This is the Chinese round from factory L791. It was entirely lead core, so that's not magnetic. However, it also had a bimetal jacket. So it drew a magnet, even though there was no steel in the core of the round. So you might ask, why is this an issue? And the answer is pretty simple. When you have steel ammo, such as the bimetal jacket on this Chinese round, or even the core in the Bulgarian and Romanian and many other rounds, it can cause fires. Now, I believe it was in Colorado just recently. We've had fires caused by people shooting steel ammo. So if I show you, this is my piece of flint. This is just a, a cheap knife I keep with it. You can see I can spark it on there. Now, I tried it with these. I couldn't probably just because it's not sharp enough. Maybe if I cut some lines in this, I could. However, the point is this ammo can spark when it strikes rocks or maybe other pieces of metal lying around, steel targets, for example, those things can spark. Lead ammo won't. And especially lead ammo that is in an actual copper jacket. If it's not magnetic, it's not going to spark when it hits a surface. So that is reason number one. Reason number two, because of this, and also because some steel core ammo is armor piercing, lots of ranges just don't allow, blanketly, don't allow steel core ammo. So because of that, depending on your range, they might hold a magnet up to it. And if it attracts a magnet, then they won't allow you to shoot that at their range. Other ranges don't. Where I shoot, it's really dry. I'm not really worried about fires where I am. I am cautious about it. I'm not shooting any place where there's brush. I worry about it and I think about it and I plan for it. However, it's not something that stops me from shooting steel core ammo. It might for you. And that is an important thing to note. You don't want to be the person who burned down your woods and also encourage people to get further gun control in your location. So a reminder in summary, the PPU ammo is not magnetic at all. The Bulgarian ammo has a steel core that's magnetic and it has a jacket that is magnetic. However, it is cased in lead. The steel core is cased in lead that is not magnetic. The Romanian ammo is the same way. Lead, the lead is not magnetic. The steel and the bimetal jacket are. The Chinese ammo just has a bimetal jacket, no steel core. If you'd be interested in me pulling apart more bullets like this, leave a comment below, and I can do this with some of the other rounds. Also, you can comment on those specific videos.